Welcome everyone, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today I'm showing you how to make these apple cider cake donuts with a maple glaze and these just melt in your mouth. Now for the cake part of the donut you're going to need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one-fourth of a cup of whole wheat flour, one cup of apple cider, one egg, one-fourth teaspoon of salt, also one-fourth teaspoon of baking soda, one-fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, one-fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, and one-third cup of brown packed sugar. All right, now we're going to reduce our apple cider to just a half a cup, so I'm going to go ahead and add this to a small saucepan, put it over medium heat, and let it reduce by half. This will take about 12 minutes. The ingredients you're gonna need for this maple glaze is one cup of powdered sugar, one to two tablespoons of buttermilk. If you don't like buttermilk, go ahead and use whole milk or 2% milk, but I love the tang that it gives in this maple glaze. One tablespoon of maple syrup and one half teaspoon of maple flavoring. So let me show you how we're gonna get this donut together. In a medium bowl, we're gonna add the flowers. A little bit more there. The cinnamon. Nutmeg, brown sugar, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and we're going to whisk these ingredients around till they're very well incorporated. Now in a smaller bowl, we're going to add the lightly beaten egg with the apple cider that has completely cooled down and that we've reduced and we're also adding three tablespoons of melted butter now I forgot to show that to you at the beginning of the video but you want to add that in there and we're just gonna whip this around Ooh, I can smell that apple cider yum all right now back to this bowl we're going to slowly incorporate the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients until they're just barely combined. And you can pull your dry ingredients in from the outside to the center. You don't want to over mix this, but you definitely want to make sure that your ingredients are nicely incorporated. All right, just like that. Now, your dough's gonna be a little sticky, but that's gonna be no problem. Now, at this point, we're gonna take a piece of plastic, and it's still got some flour down there in the bottom. I wanna get that really well incorporated. We're gonna cover this with plastic, and now this goes in the refrigerator for the next one hour. So off it goes. My dough has been chilling for the last hour, and now I'm lightly going to flour a flat surface, and I'm adding my donut dough right here, as you can see. And we're just gonna pat it out. All right, make sure you get it all in there. And um, it's still just a little bit sticky, but we wanna make the dough about a half of an inch thick. Now, I don't use a rolling pin during this process because a half an inch is gonna look about like that. And I've marked the end of a wooden spoon with a mark, which is one half inch. And then come on down here and I'll show you that it's already a half an inch thick, as you can see right there. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and use a three inch in diameter cookie cutter along with a one inch for the center and you're going to lightly flour the edges here and I'm going to use the decorative edge of the cookie cutter and I'm going to firmly just start making the donut rings okay Flatten that out just a little bit so we can probably get about four out of here. All right, and now we're going to go back and use a smaller ring and cut out the center. 
just like that. And these are going to be our donut holes. All right, now over here on the oven top, I have my oil heating in a 12-inch frying pan over medium heat. Now let's take this and start frying them. You want to make sure your oil is at 365 degrees Fahrenheit, which I have achieved here on my thermometer. Or you may add a piece of bread, and if it begins to sizzle like that, you know it's ready for those donuts. And really, keeping your oil over medium heat seems to be the best way if you don't have a thermometer to measure up the temperature. Now we're going to fry two donuts at a time. Each side you're going to fry one minute. So use your timer. All right, these have been frying for about a minute. They look pretty golden on the other side, so I'm going to flip it over. Ooh, yes. And we're going to fry them for another minute. All right, let me get under there. And look how beautiful those are. Now back here I have a rack that I'm going to put the donuts on so they can drain from the excess oil. Now remember to time yourself another minute. The minute's up on this side and look how beautiful and golden that is. Oh my gosh, these are going to be absolutely scrumptious and I can smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg. So now we're going to drain it over here on the cooling rack and continue adding your other donuts just frying the donut holes and you only need to fry these for about a minute and a half you just want to roll them around every 20 25 minutes okay and those look about right so out they go and over here on the cooling rack for the maple glaze I've added the cup of powdered sugar into a larger bowl along with the maple syrup the maple flavoring and I'm using buttermilk. Now don't add it all at once because you don't want your frosting being too thin and this is definitely going to need a little bit more. All right you can also use water to get this well incorporated and it looks like I'm going to need to use a little bit of water to thin it out. Now you don't want to add too much water because you don't want it too thin because you want this maple glaze to really stick to these donuts and oh my gosh if you could smell how delicious this is. That looks about good. Next it's time to start adding the donuts and I'm going to start with this side. Look you there at this. Mm -hmm. Want to dip it in, turn it to the left, turn it to the right. Bring it up, and oh my goodness, there's that maple glaze. I can't wait to dig into that one. All right, we'll do another one. Flip it around, pull it out, and there you got that maple glaze. And I'm going to add a little bit more powdered sugar to this because I want it a little thicker. I've incorporated a little bit more powdered sugar to make it a little thicker. These are the donuts we've just glazed, but I want a little thicker maple glaze on there. So here we go. There. Now that's more like it. Oh yeah. I'm going to re-dip this one. Yeah, you want to be careful when you're adding that water because you definitely can get it too thin. And looky there. Oh my lads. Yummy and it smells so delicious. And now for the donut holes. Oh my gosh, you can't get any better than that. All right, I'll be back, sample them, and let you know what they taste like. Oh yeah, messy, but absolutely scrumptious. Oh yeah, look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness gracious. Completed apple cider cake donuts with that maple glaze, and if you could smell how delicious these are. So I'm going to dig in to a donut hole. I've added a little bit more glaze to some of the donuts than I did the others. I'm going to show you what they're like on the inside. Nice, fluffy. Has a little crunch on the outside. The tender, delicious, that apple cider that's coming through with that nutmeg and cinnamon. 
and that maple glaze is just win-win. Hey y'all, hope you give these a try. I'm Dorana with Foods 101. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.